Okay, welcome back. This is part two of Scratches, the director's cut, uh, the let's play, thereof, etc, etc, whatever. Um, where did we leave it? Where did we leave it? Uh, no, not the garage. We left it with posting a letter to Barbara. The Italian letter, I believe. It's still there. Good. Um, a couple of people have sent me um, some uh, PMs about what to do. Uh, one of them was to call Jerry about the electrician, which is, uh, of course, a very smart thing to do. So I think I'm going to do that now. There's the phone. Jerry, please. Carter Properties. Jerry, we have a problem. What happened? <sighs> the electrician missed me. He left a note in the mailbox. Bloody hell! He was supposed to meet you at the gates early this morning. I thought he was just being late. Damn, then I must have missed him for a few minutes. What the heck am I supposed to do now? Why don't you go check the fuses yourself? Maybe it isn't that serious. I don't know. I'm not very good with that kind of thing. Michael, even my grandmother could improvise a fuse. Just go and look, and let me know if you see anything burnt. <sighs> As in black spots? Okay, so we've got to check out the fuses, and I know that they're in the cellar. Bit of a problem though, because the cellar door is locked. However, actually, I'm not going that way. I'll go this way. I need to solve a sort of puzzle to get the, uh, the key to the cellar. I'm heading towards the kitchen. Right, so there's the cellar door, and uh, to my right, here we go. Now these are the hooks where the keys are normally kept. But uh, as you can see, there's no keys hanging from it. So, what I need to do is go into the maid's room, into her bedroom. And I need to check out uh, her desk again. A couple of you uh, commented that I, I missed a... Uh, a photo, and here it is. Right, that's pretty self explanatory. Uh, there is a key here hanging on the middle hook, and it's uh, it's hovering above this uh, vase pot urn thing. Uh, now, both of those are no longer there, so logically, the key slipped off the hook and fell into the pot. So, I need to find that pot wherever it is. So, we're on the search for a pot. Now, I know where it is. You may have seen it as well. In fact, you probably have. If I go uh, this way and out the kitchen. If I just pan right a little bit. Here we go. There's a couple of pots over here. Now, this looks familiar, doesn't it? So what I need to do is have a look and plug the key out. Oh no, wait. No. First of all, need some light. There you go. Now I should be able to look inside and you can see the key. There you go. Just like that. So now I've got the key. Just examine it to uh, see what it says. Uh, it just says it's a rusty golden key. It doesn't actually tell me what it's for. But it is for the cellar. Walk this way. Back into the kitchen. And we're going down. Okay, now prepare for an atmosphere change.
That music is chilling. Seriously. Um, we've got some sort of uh, furnace or boiler down here. Looks like a furnace. Let's just walk around. I need to find the, uh, the fuses. And they are in a box. Is that it? That could be it. No. Atmosphere is dense and claustrophobic. Yeah, you're telling me. This is it. Uh, these are the fuses. They don't look like there's anything wrong with them. Right. Uh, nothing seems to be working. So I hope you don't mind as I just uh, skedaddle out of this place. But don't worry, we'll be back. And the creepy music has stopped. Right, um, maybe it says something in the journal, actually. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's try phoning Jerry again. I did check out the fuses as he, uh, as he, as he asked. In. Hello? Jerry, all the fuses seem to be fine. I think the problem might be a little more complicated than that. I see. What should we do now? Go get some candles. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. I'm calling this guy right away, and I'm afraid he won't be able to stop by until tomorrow. He was already driving there today as a personal favor. There must be something you can do. I don't feel comfortable walking around this place with dim lights. I barely know it. Michael, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? It would be like you were living in a past century. Exquisite Victorian house, lit by candles. What I wouldn't give to be in your place. I left my sense of adventuring back in London, thanks. I have work to do. Then do it. What else could you ask for? Now you have the chance to experience firsthand one of your period pieces. A very funny. Try getting that guy over here as soon as possible. Don't worry, I will. Make sure you find some candles before it gets too dark. Yes, candles. Bye. Okay, candles. Candles, candles, candles. Um, let's check the journal again. Don't like the idea of spending a night in total darkness here. And Jerry's bright idea is to look for candles. Great. Yeah. Where would I find candles, do you think? Hmm. There's several rooms I haven't actually been in yet. Um, maybe the attic has some stored away. I know where the attic is. If I go left, down this hallway. And again. Uh, no, not that way. Up here. Oh, that's a stupidly famous painting. Creepy too. Um, yep, keep going up. Uh, this way. I believe it's up here. I think this is unlocked. Yep. see then. What is in here? There's probably a lot of stuff I can pick up in here. What have we got here? Music box? Okay. No thanks, I'm already creeped out. Um, some sort of birdcage. Just trinkets, he says. A gramophone. What are these papers on the floor? 
Oh, can I examine them? Oh. Oh, okay. So maybe when I have a date I can come back and uh, look at them. Fair enough. Ooh, a chest. What have we got in here? Candles, I hope. Uh, no. Is that a, a lantern of some sort? An old-fashioned lamp. Yeah, okay. Nice. Nice little find. But to be honest, I was after the candles. Anything else? Shit ton of photos. Don't mean a great deal to me right now. They might later. Um. Meat packers. Okay, I'll uh, close that up. Um, in here, no. There's an old pram. Some sort of. That's a globe that I can't interact with, unfortunately. And that light doesn't work. That's a shame. Um, where else would you keep candles? Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe in the dining room, maybe. Um, this way. Sh hang on. Did I just see? <laughs> it's my old friend Cthulhu. Hello there. And that as well. Blimey. Seriously, the guy has fucked up art in this place. Anyway, I'm going down. This should take me to the kitchen hallway. Holy crap, why is it so dark? Oh my god. <laughs> this is a bit creepy. What's going on? What? Why is it so dark and now it's so light? I don't understand. Um, yeah, dining room. Let's have a look. Um... I didn't explore this fully, so see there's a candle stick, but there's no candles. Anything in here? I decided to stop looking for candles. There's none to be found. Okay. Uh, what are these though? Just tablecloths and napkins. Okay. Um so yeah, I just can't find any candles. What am I supposed to do now? Well, when in doubt, phone Jerry, right? Let's just go around the table, through the door. Guess who? Is he going to pick up? Jerry, I'm freaking out. I couldn't find a single candle inside this place. You're kidding me. I can't believe it. Did you look well? Yes, every single room, drawer, box, cabinet, nothing. No candles. All right, listen. The town isn't too far away. No more than 20 minutes drive. If you can't find some candles there, I'll eat my hat. You'll eat your whole closet. This is getting on my nerves. Come on, it's just a quick ride. You know how to get there? Yeah, I saw it on my way here. Did you call Mr. Busy Electrician, who couldn't hold on for just five more minutes? Yes, he'll be doing me another special favour, and we'll be going there tomorrow afternoon. It's the best he can do. You have to bear in mind it's Sunday. We'll charge extra, of course. I don't care. I have no power. I'll get him myself if he doesn't show up. Calm down. Drive to the town before it gets too dark. You won't be able to find your way back if it does. Yeah, I had to buy some food anyway. There you go. Godspeed. And drive safe. Okay, so I get to drive around in my little mini now, it sounds like. Uh, just as a, a sort of a weird thought. What? Can I look at the time? Okay, so it's 5pm. So it's getting a bit late. What did I start at? 9am? 
So go outside. I've already uh, equipped the car. Keys in there, ready to go for a speedy getaway. I have to reverse it out though. Open this up, and I should just be able to start, right? Yeah. No. Oh, what's this? Uh, you left the lights on. What, so the battery's dead? <laughs> you twat. Um. <laughs> so, what? Well, try again? No, it doesn't work. I'm, I'm assuming I can't walk. You cannot do so on foot. Well, you could. You're just lazy. Um. <laughs> I'm going to have to call Jerry again, I think. I just like complaining to this guy. I'm starting to like him more and more actually because he seems to be putting up with my shit quite well. Uh, I hope I can call him. Let me guess. Michael. Jerry, <laughs> you won't believe this. It's insane. My car is dead. I'm not joking. It's gone. My friend, this completely redefines the term suspension of disbelief you sometimes use for your stories. I know. I'm speechless. I forgot the lights on and the car ran out of batteries. All because of that bloody fog. Jerry, you've got to help me. Get over here. Michael, look at the time. I can't drive to Northumberland right now. But Jerry, I can't spend the whole night without one single source of light. I barely know this place, and I won't be able to find my way. Heck, I don't even know if it's rid of ghosts yet. Are you a sleepwalker, Michael? You lie down on the bed, you sleep, you wake up, and you'll have tons of bright light then. That's not helping, and you're the one who got me into this mess in the first place. Hold on a minute. It's not my fault. If the electrician missed you for a few minutes, there aren't any candles in a three-story mansion, and your car's battery was low. Okay, okay, listen. When will you be coming back to Rothbury? I'll be arriving home early tomorrow morning, and I'll come for you shortly after. We'll drive to town, stock yourself up, and then spend the rest of the day in your garden, drinking some beers while we wait for Mr. Electrician. Sounds like a plan? Yeah, I guess. And I don't think there's any plan B either. I'm afraid not. Sorry. I really took all the precautions to make your stay there as comfortable as possible. But I guess sometimes things are just meant to go wrong. Apparently. All right. I'll be on my way then. Call me back if you need anything. And Michael. Yes. Just don't let this situation get on your nerves. I promise it won't. Goodbye. Okay. So, now what? You mentioned going to bed. I don't think I have to do that yet, do I? Oh, I've got a couple of pages now. Or three. Why am I like... Where, 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 what the hell was that? Was that lag? I think it was. Anyway. Jerry won't be able to drive today. I'm on my own. Alone. No lights. And I don't even know the house yet. I did know what I was... Oh. So, it doesn't really tell me. Um, I'll try sleeping, I guess. Has it just got darker? Is it me? It took me an hour, did it? Fair enough. Um. Let's see then. Um. Let's go over here and try and sleep then. Do I use it. It is too, still too early to sleep. And what do I do then? What do I do? Hmm. I'm stumped. Maybe I can, uh, Oh no, now I have to look around a bit more. 
See, this is what I was afraid of. Um, playing a game, and I'm very uncertain of what to do. Uh, Jerry probably told me to do something I've forgotten about already. Um, uh, I guess walking around a bit wouldn't hurt, would it? Uh, this is a bedroom, I think. Yeah. Master bedroom, I suppose. Can I see my reflection? Nope. Big surprise, I'm a ghost. Can I use something on this? Maybe not. Wait, what? Hello? There's a safe behind the picture. Uh, I don't know a combination, I was guessing. Yeah, okay. Well, that's nice to know. I'm guessing it's not unlocked already. No. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, right. something downstairs. I hate to say it, but maybe I need to go to the cellar again. It's still a... Uh, still six. Hmm. It is still too early. I'm just going to be annoying and uh, phone Jerry again, you know. Ask him to speed up time a bit. Jerry, it's me. What's up, Michael? Oh, fair enough. Um, I found a safe box in a room upstairs. Would you happen to know the combination? I think I should. Let me see. <laughs> Way, brilliant. Hmm. I did take note of a combination once, but I don't have it here right now. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Okay? Great. Thanks. Fair enough. I oh, don't put the phone down. I want to speak to him about the other thing. The amount of calls I've got to this guy is insane. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Jerry, it's me. What's up, Michael? Do you know anything about the previous inhabitants of this house? Not much. Just there were some strange individuals. There's also the murder. You're kidding me. A murder? An old-fashioned murder. You'd probably love the details, but sadly I don't know very much. It's old history, really. Although it caused quite a stir there in Rothbury. It seems the owner, James Blackwood, I think, went mad and killed his wife. I do remember the date, though. May 1963. James. James Blackwood, according to the stuff I've been reading. Oh, so you're already turning the place upside down. I should have thought so. There's enough material for a whole series of stories here, you know. After you finish your book, my friend. Yeah, yeah. But it can never hurt poking around a little. All right. Goodbye. Uh, May 1963, did he say? Let's check the journal. I've probably added a few paragraphs. At the safe. A gruesome murder. Does it have a date? I don't think it has a date. I think it's May 1963, so... I'll keep that in mind. I'm going back up to the attic. Those newspapers said I could only examine them when I had a date, and now I've got a date, so... There we go. Open the door. Uh, yeah, where do I start? May 1963, there you go. Okay. 
nice here. I just uh, pick up the same thing again, whichever pile I... Yeah. Uh, maybe there's something else in that chest. No, there can't be. We're going out again. Don't happen to have a watch on me, do I? Because I don't want to go back to the uh, the grandfather clock every time I want to check what the time is. Because I'm guessing it needs to be about 8 or 9 before I need to go to sleep, at least. Maybe 10. Uh, take a gamble, let's go for it. Ah, there you go. It's getting late. Here it goes. Um, actually, just before I sleep, I'm just going to wrap this video up right here because it's probably getting uh, quite long. Uh, thanks for your suggestions, everyone. Uh, if you have any more bright ideas, just give me a personal message. As I just showed you back there, pretty much, um, I have no knowledge of, of the game from here on in. So this is essentially now a blind playthrough. Um, okay, uh, part three coming out soon. Please tune in. Thanks.